Officially, what I'll be graduating with are majors in uh, English, neuroscience, and biochemistry. For me, something about English and literature and creative work is that it really gets at, you know, this core human essence. And I don't think I could stop doing even if I wanted to. In the DHLC, the Digital Humanities and Literary Cognition Lab, we're looking at how does the brain interact with a text or a work of literature. And what's exciting is that we're trying to push the field forward a little bit and immerse somebody in the actual experience of reading. How is it different to get lost in a book versus to read words one by one on a page? It's the perfect crossover between my uh, two, two of those majors, and I had no idea that that opportunity would be available to me. Last summer, I started putting together you know, a few of my friends, people that I know from the Resource Center for Persons with Disabilities, and we just sort of shape Exceptions, the journal, around finding a platform for people with visual impairments or people who are blind to really express what is their story, their creative perspective. It's really cool to kind of be integrated into that community in such a way that we're not trying to fix blindness, we're not trying to change the community, we're trying to bring out that really exciting, uh, unique perspective that people have. I won the Marshall Scholarship, which funds uh, two to three years of graduate study at any UK institution. I now plan to go pursue my PhD at the University of Cambridge. At Cambridge is like one of the greatest literature institutions of all time, so I think going into a science PhD program by no means is going to exclude me from getting really involved in the creative and literary community there. The human element of, of literature and, you know, reading stories about other people or listening to people tell their own stories, I think that that's uh, something really resonant for me and I think for most people.